So we are off on a new adventure today. We're going metal detecting with uh, a new friend. And we're about two hours late because apparently there was an accident right there. And I'd left the house five minutes before or five minutes later. I wouldn't have had to sit in this, but well, we get to sit in it for a while longer. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> oh, sorry, not so good. But it's going to end with a bang. Fingers crossed. Here's my guy checking on me. Where you be? <laughs> we'll get there soon enough. Well, I have finally made it to the destination after a very long wait in traffic. All right. Oh, before I forget, here are two Chig's Army hats for you and your oh. son. Whenever anybody takes me digging, I give them a thank hat. Thank you. So. I had to take my Tennessee hat off. <laughs> no, <laughs> no obligation to wear the hat. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah, but so tell me a little bit about yourself and your fancy new Chig's Army hat. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is called the Appalachian History Detectives. Oh, I have cookies and all kinds of good stuff that you gave me. Yeah, my dog. I'm already eating them. Yeah, they're delicious, by the way. Oh. Tell them oh. thank you. Okay. They are delicious. I got half eaten. Got, ah, the other one's <laughs> half eaten too, but I don't want to have too much crumbs in my mouth. Anyway, yeah, so we're on one of your permissions. Yes, and uh, we are doing um, a detection. It's uh, I look at it from a historical standpoint. So I tell a little bit about the backstory of the site, and then we do a detection to, to verify or to substantiate the history of it. So, and your uh, whole channel is kind of based around doing that. Kind yes, of stuff. yes. So we do we do metal detecting. Yeah. Uh, so ha uh, of course it's metal detecting, and it's uh, also um, historical. Right. So awesome. Uh, that's what we do. Yeah. And so we're somewhere deep in the mountains of Virginia. Somewhere in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> well, anyway, so you haven't. Is it Britain? Breeden. Breed what? Braden. Braden. Bra Braden. Okay. You haven't metal detected too much, uh, or no? I brought it along in Garrett Ace 300 for you to try. Okay. Thanks. And uh, yeah, we'll all get in the wood and see what we can find. I guess. Yes. Oh, let me let's, let's show them this thing real quick. Sure. Absolutely. Tell us about that. Okay. Um, I found this rock down along the river here. There's a creek, and uh, it's an old pioneer road. And so I was walking down there. The road is no longer there. It's abandoned. And I saw this stone. And to me, it doesn't look natural. No, it's not yet. <laughs> so well, a stone is, but it's been worked I by man. I picked it up, and I That's wondered awesome. what this was. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking it is. I think that's like a, a, a chalk for a wheel, for like a wagon. Because a lot of times, when, you know, when you had the old wagon, you went up the mountains like there are all around us here. You know, the horses or oxen or whatever, I guess mostly horses around here, would get tired. And you'd have to stop. And uh, that would be something you could put behind the wheel to keep it from rolling backwards down the hill. Looks just like things that we have nowadays, except it's made out of stone. I think that's probably what it is. Although I've never seen one like that. I mean, that's unique. Well, and it's beautiful. perfectly shaped. Absolutely beautiful. Perfectly shaped. I mean, it's amazing they could get it that that exact yeah he meant i guess i had to grind it with something i don't know <laughs> yeah it is i mean of course there's a, there's a lot of indian stuff in this area too um but i don't I, i'm thinking that's a chalk for a wagon well and mm. not not far from this was the log house and uh so this came from the this house. is a piece that the guy yep. gave you to, you yep. had to look at yes and uh you can see so, oh, that's awesome. And you think this dates from the 1700s? I believe this dates to late, late 17, 1790s to early 18, maybe around 1810, 1815. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Things like that. We're trying to figure out why it was so short, this piece, because if you look, the, the other end has two of these as well. Not in the same location, but it's just a really short piece that was joined together for some reason. Not sure why. That's really cool. I'll tell you what. I'm going to finish my cookie. Sure. And then I want to go digging. All right. That sounds great. Fair enough. You've already been digging, haven't you? I, have I, been digging. I was in traffic for hours and you found some stuff. Oh, we found some nice yeah, stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. All right. So this is the Garrett. And let me show you what I would recommend. Okay. For me, Here, oh, yeah, just forward. hold it. For me, I'd put it in relics, okay? okay. Because if you, if you notice when you're in coins, you go back, put it back in coins. It's discriminating out this stuff right here, that, you know, that 40 to 70, those like pull tabs. It's trying to get rid of those for you. So you don't have to dig pull tabs, but the problem is that reading could be buttons or small gold yeah. coins and stuff like that. So I would recommend just go ahead and put it in relics. 
Okay. And it's, you're hearing everything now. You'll hear tinfoil, you know, just the foil yeah. and stuff too, but you want to when you're looking for relics. And But it's taken out a little bit of the iron okay. on the bottom, so you won't hear the little tiny iron. Yep. I get plenty of batteries next to maximum sensitivity. You know, I usually hunt on maximum, but in here, since it's brand new, no one's ever detected it and everything, you know, we don't need to go deep yet. But that's up to you. Need help yep. with it? Give me a holler. Yeah, got plenty we'll... of shovels. I know you can't dig much of a hole with that. And, and it'll hear your boots, too, if you yep. get it too close to your boots. All right. Uh, so here's what we got. We're going to uh, detect this site. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out if this is the home site of a particular uh, Revolutionary War general. There is a map that shows a home being somewhere in this general location. Big foundation here. This was somebody who had money. His other little foundation is not too far away, so we don't know for sure. But what we're going to do is we're going to look. Oh, yeah, so Revolutionary War general. His son or grandson was a War of 1812 uh, general or some type of an officer. And there's also a Confederate in the family during the uh, um, Civil War. So could, we could find anything here. But what we're looking for is just evidence that this dates to the 1700s. And just with a quick look, uh, let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm going to say, yeah, it dates to this. It could easily date to that. Big brick pile here. There's another brick pile on the other side. Now this concrete, well, that was added later. That's probably turn of the century, 1900s. There's actually a uh, concrete walkway down here as well. So this house was lived in probably, well, we don't know exactly, but through the, through the early 1900s, that's a walkway down to the road. We just want to get an idea of when it was built. So we're going to be looking for rose head nails. That's going to tell us. Um, that's going to tell us a lot if we can find some rose head nails. All right, let's get to digging, see what we can find. I'm going to stay out of the woods because it's deer season. There's deer hunters everywhere around here. Although we have exclusive permission for this property. There should not be any hunters here. And we're going to give everything to the property owners uh, because they, they, they want to know about the history of this of this house, this general, and it's local. So I'm happy to go ahead and hunt this and detect this and find some good stuff and hopefully learn some good history for them. Let's get to it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're hunting with the AT Max today. I'm going to let you hear it on zero discrimination, uh, maximum sensitivity, zero mode. Uh, this power line's right behind me, so it's a little bit noisy. This is what it sounds like. We're going to hear all of the iron. Lots of iron. But what I'm going to do. Ooh, here's something. But I'm going to go ahead and crank this discrimination back up so we don't have to listen to all of that noise since I'm not using my headphones today. You'll hear it's a lot quieter now. I could, I could bump it up higher, but we're just going to stick with that. Let's see what this is real quick. I don't know if it's... <laughs> there it is right there. What do you think it is? I think that's it. That. Oh, that's window glass. Maybe I should put my gloves on, eh? <laughs> Oh, maybe that's it. Is that it? Uh, that's a rock. Okay. Let me get my shovel on that one. Should be about in the middle. I don't think it's going to be very deep. Just didn't sound very deep, did it? That should get it right there. Now, we don't know. This place could be full of jar lids. We just don't know. But we're hoping not. Let's get the uh, pinpointer out. See what we got here. Oh, still in there. This could be a belt buckle. <laughs> Or a mason jar lid. Probably a mason jar lid, but you never know. All right. See some more window glass. It's a pottery. Oh no, it's a piece of iron. But it looks almost like a snowbird, which is something they put on a roof. But it may not be that at all. Well, that's an odd looking piece right there. That could be all we're hearing. Since it's flat like that. Go ahead and dig some more just to make sure. Look at that. Wow, look at all the pottery in there. Dude. <laughs> Not sorry, knocked you over. But last, look at all the pottery. Unfortunately, that's what we were hearing. Um, I'm going to dig that out a little bit. Let's dig it out a little bit together. I don't know if we can hear in the distance all kinds of gunshots. It's a deer season here still. And uh, if we weren't right along the road, that I'd uh, definitely have some orange on, but since we're right on the road on this person's property, 
we lose right up the road, I think we'll be okay. All right, this is what we have. Uh, some type of big old plate or something I'm digging up. No idea on the age of this. All right, we're not going to worry too much about digging holes today. Big holes looking for stuff. Great artifact layer. Still see some charcoal in there. Goes down at least a foot. All right, let's go find something beside a chunk of plate. Tell me. Mm. Now watch this. Mm. It's a button. It's a button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a nice one. Um, what we call the tongue back. back. Yeah, exactly. 1700s. For 70, sure. Yeah, right. For sure, so yeah. it's in that time period we're looking oh, ab at. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what they were it's wearing awesome. during the Revolutionary War. Um, that's it. Yeah. 100%, yeah. yeah, dude. So that kind of gives you another clue. This could, might actually be yeah. his home site. And I mean, it's at least old enough. And wasn't there like only like one house shown on the map in this area? One wasn't house. there right here? Yeah, so we're probably on it, man. Didn't take much of it. Yeah, and I found them all in the same spot. Yeah. Everything I found is over yeah. there in that one awesome, spot. Awesome, man. Cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So we have to go now? <laughs> Since the mystery's been solved? Ch Chig's got to get on the board. <laughs> I know. I know. I'll get on the board. All right. Hey, at least I have. I got two left handed gloves. Oh, I, I've, got, I've got I, I got them in the truck, but I don't have time anymore now that you found that. Oh, Who needs gloves when you're finding that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. So this is my first non-ferrous item. It is the base to a shotgun shell. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a lot of filming for a few minutes. I just want to work this area so I can listen to it. See what the things are sounding like. Uh, I mean, that sounded beautiful. That piece of iron that I dug a few minutes ago sounded pretty good too. So I just want to make sure I'm hearing what I'm hearing and it's right the thing. What you got? I found the tool. Look at what is it? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Maybe? Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's an old one. It rang high. It didn't ring hard. It didn't? Ah, just lost my hat. Go look at that a second. That looks like a little, uh, like a little. I wonder if there's something else down see in that. the hole. Well, sometimes a flat will do that. If it's flat. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, no. I don't know what that is. Interesting, isn't it? It is. I can't even tell how old it is. For sure. Well, it hmm. uh, came out of the same hole that Tom okay. back. Did it? Yeah. yeah. Same hole. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, though. It could be as old, but then again, it could be 1900. That's <laughs> where I dug the shotgun shell, and I got a screamer right here. I like those really high squeaks. I probably didn't get a good swing on it, but I already know it's there. It's going to be right in here. Let me set you up and let's dig it together. Okay, should be right in that little circle. I don't think it's going to be very deep, so I'm pretty shallow. Sure. <laughs> I hope we didn't just hit it. There we go. See it yet? And yeah, it'd be nice if it was a coin. I'm thinking it might be or something like that anyway. Uh, I don't see it yet, though. Which is odd. If it was copper, we would have seen the green by now, I think. Uh-oh. All right, yeah, I might have scooted it under the camera, so I have to turn you off for a minute. Get you over there. Let's listen with the machine again. Might not have dug it yet. Let me get this out of the way. I hope I haven't dug it yet. Oh yeah, that sounds coinish, isn't it? Coinish, not cornish. It could be cornish, coin, I suppose. There's so much iron in here. All right, yeah. You kicked it back by the. Ah, oh, there it is. Not a coin. Something kind of interesting though, isn't it? Look at that. I'm supposing this is copper. Could be silver. Could it be trade silver? Rub it a little bit here and see if it shines up. See, it's got that weird kind of little shininess to it. But that's probably something like a... Well, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate just yet. We'll clean that up a little bit and I'll get you a good shot at the end. I promise. I think it's a small donkey. <laughs> a donkey. I think it's a square Boy. nail. What oh, is that? Oh, that's a mule shoe. That's a weird looking one too. It yeah. looks very, very crude. I love the back on that. You just don't see, I've never really seen one quite like that. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Same place. Nail, same hole. I love it, yeah. Same hole. Yeah, you, you just don't find a lot of those in this area. At least I don't. I mean, I. I find them kind of like along the towpath, which they use a lot of mules on, but not uh, 
Not out in the mountains, I guess. Hey, That's gonna, pretty cool. Yeah, Congratulations. This, thank you. You're going to find this funny. I dropped my buckle down here, so I was using my pin pointer to find my buckle. <laughs> You're falling there with the pin pointer. <laughs> That's, That's awesome, man. <laughs> oh, you can find anything yet? Oh, uh, yeah, I found a buckle. You Did you? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Iron or. Hey, what's that? No idea. That actually looks pretty cool. Or harmonica read, maybe. Oh, I was thinking no. like a harmonica read or something. No. Like that. Mm -hmm. let, let, yeah, I don't know. Let you look at it, so. I, th I think it's a, uh, it's a knife handle. It's part of a knife handle. That's like yeah. half of it, the other half's there. Yeah. It was a hollow. But that could be really old, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Awesome, man. Did you first find with it? With uh, well, obviously with that machine, but yep. this is your first non-ferrous find? Uh, Maybe. Yes. <laughs> kind of funny. We just looked at a piece of a, which I think is a knife handle, could be spoon, I guess. And I just found one too. I think it's going to be the exact same type. I don't know. Actually, this one looks like silver almost. I guess silver. That's silver, isn't it? Oh, look at that. It's got like a little house on it, maybe. What we're going to do is we're going to run this over the uh, metal detector and see what the number is. It's thin, but that's uh, actually that is silver. Not sure what the design is, but we'll look at it in the end. Let's just, let's see what the number is. It's going to be really hard to do because I have to do this and then look at it. So <laughs> I can't see it. Looks like 93, um, but that's definitely definitely silver. It's another super sweet squeaker. 79.80 right there. I think we'll be able to just kind of kick it out of the leaves. So you, oh, it looks frozen still a little bit. Kick it that out of the leaves. And hopefully it's going to be right there. Ah, we moved it. Oh, what is that? That is like a sweet squeak, isn't it? Just hoping to look down there to a big old chunk of silver. But I don't see <laughs> any chunk. I don't see anything actually. Let's get that. Okay, whatever it is, we keep moving. We move it over to here. Now it's going to be below these leaves. I'm really surprised we're not seeing it. Oh, there's a coin. Look. All right, so we got our first coin. It's a wheat penny. <laughs> I already lost it. Uh, I'll find it again and show it to you. Oh, there it is. I'll show it to you at the end of the video. I think we'll be able to get a date off of that, no problem. Not too far from where I just found that wheat penny, and I got a good signal. And I want you guys to tell me what you think that is. I know what it is. At least I'm pretty sure. That's part of a crotal bell or sleigh bell. I can tell because that's where the, one of the holes was in it. That would have hung on a sleigh to jingle. Or they might have put it on an animal to make a noise when it was walking around in the woods. I could find it. That's pretty good. That's a nice one right there. Let's find a whole one. This is the one thing my wife always wants me to find. She loves to collect these things. Well, whole ones anyway. Just a couple feet up the hill. We've got a good signal in here. I have not looked at it yet. Something small. Hopefully we can just kind of see it. It's right on the surface though. So hopefully it's not like a piece of aluminum. Ah, look right here. Is that a button? That could be a very old button or something different. Ah, something different. What, what it is... Oh, that's weird looking. It looks almost like a uh, part of a mouthpiece to like a bugle, but it's very lightweight. Mm, it's a nice little artifact, but I just have no idea what that is. I'll get you a good picture at the end, too. If you know what it is, let me know. It looks like a bugle, bugle mouthpiece, so, you know, the rest of it would have come out there. But boy, it's light. This is kind of interesting. Do you guys know what it is? I'm not going to tell you right away, but I'll tell you. I'm going to take a picture at the end and tell you what I think it is. Good luck guessing it. Of course, I could be wrong, too. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. A really nice squeaker here. and just kind of scraped it back with my foot. I can see it. Uh, this is a... Wow. I thought it was a, like, mason jar lid. I'm not so sure. It's not a mason jar, obviously. Jar lid. What is it? Uh, not sure not sure what that says but it's a some type of lid to something that the screw things great signal it could easily have been a belt buckle or giant silver coin and it was right on the surface lots of excitement oh yeah yeah that is a that is a say it's a brass, brass oh yeah buckle. yeah definitely yeah nice brass buckle it's a That's d a beauty I don't know if it's that old. 
It looks May beautiful. I flip it? I think it probably is because of the, the uh, kind of flat. Yeah, that's a pretty. That buckle. might be. Yeah, that might well, be pretty old. Nine inches down. Was so. it? Yeah. Sweet. That's awesome. Hey, dude, son. you're all digging me, man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. All the are right here. Yeah. 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 I've yeah, dug a few little things, but that's that's a nice one. I think it's gonna be pretty old. Nice find. But that thing screamed. Had a wee bit of a squeak on this one, but I didn't uh, didn't film it because it wasn't like great sounding. But do you know what that is? <laughs> that is an old padlock, and I'm thinking by the shape, a pretty old one too. I mean, I'm liking this place. This place is awesome. That's the main foundation up there, and just kind of worked my way down because I see this hole here. And I think this might be a foundation to an old building as well. Unfortunately, there's a lot of uh, junk in here. You can see there's lots of uh, tin cans and bottles. So somebody, bottles, somebody used this as you know a trash dump. Oh, whiskey bottles too. Uh, but we're gonna look around a little bit. Maybe one day we'll get down in there and actually dig it out some, because that could even predate the one we're looking up, looking at up on the hill. This could have been the original uh, house right here. Because quite often, especially when you see big houses like that. There would have been a smaller cabin there that they might have lived in for 20, you know, 5, 10, 20, 30 years before they built a big house, you know, before they started amassing wealth and they could afford to build a nice big house like that with two chimneys. And this could be just all old stuff right down here, like super old coins, I'm hoping. Up around the foundation, just kind of looking around a little bit and up lots of signals. I'd love to get in here and just kind of dig around. Uh, I've got a few mason jar lids. That's a good signal I'll dig, but there's a lot of tin too, like there's a wash basin right there, I think. Um, I'll go ahead and dig this up. Lots of iron. Look at the size of that brick. But we'll definitely get in here and just really scratch around good after I dig that signal right there. That's a screamer, isn't it? Yeah, I have to dig that one together. There it is. What is it? Is that it? This is melted, uh, gla ah, melted glass. So this could have been something that was in the house that melted. No, but that's not what we're hearing, obviously. I'm gonna have to get my shovel, I set it down. All right, probably still buried right there. Some shallow by the intensity of that signal. I don't think it's very deep. Yeah, too deep for us though. And this is right there. Uh, I get it, I see it. <laughs> All right, let me get my shovel. All right, let's give it a good little hit here. I don't think it's going to be very deep. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm digging a lot of mason jar lids too, so I'm uh, not uh, real hopeful. <laughs> it's plastic there. That's plastic. Not what we're hearing, obviously, but... I don't know if that's my tripod or not. No, it's in here. What is it? All right, it's a big chunk. Oh, something. I'm going to say... It's pretty heavy, but it's probably aluminum, melted aluminum. <sighs> Not 100%. Looks like it was in something when it melted. See how, how that is flat there and flat there? What kind of dish-shaped dish right there? Yeah, so not heavy enough for lead. So big old chunk of, chunk of melted aluminum something. All right, let's get out of this area. We're going to come back here. We'll just dig around one day, but um, they find a lot more stuff down the hill. What's that? See, this house could have burned, I guess. I'm just outside of the house foundation, and I thought I'd dig a little hole uh, because I was getting a lot of signals in this area. And you can see the ground is really dark and it goes down at least that far before it starts to turn color. The whole layer there is an artifact layer. This is some of the stuff that's in here. We've got some really cool pieces of china and uh, a lot of iron. A little bit of crockery or some, something like that. Not sure. Uh, lots of pieces of this. So a little bit of melted uh, or uh, window glass. And not getting any buttons or anything. But this is some place I definitely want to put on the back burner and come back to. There's a couple nails in here. And uh, I might dig a hole over there inside part of the foundation. I think that's the chimney pile right there. The main foundation's over there. But there's obviously part of the houses right here. Um, and well, up to there probably. That's pretty cool right there, but there's a lot of charcoal too. Might be more evidence that this house burned. We don't really know for sure, but those are nice square nails, more window glass. 
and charcoal so I'm gonna almost guess already that it probably did burn uh, you know turn of the century 1900s that's pretty cool right there isn't it I wonder what that is looks like a rock but I, well, I guess it is a rock all right back to digging all right let me show you this uh, I, that's the hole I was working on I covered it up for now I'm popping over into what would have been part of the house. I think the main house was there because you've got a chimney pile here and a chimney pile on the other side. This concrete is probably a more recent addition. That so was probably the old original house, but there were parts of it that came out to here. So I decided I would just go ahead and dig a hole, see what was inside, and it is loaded. It's gonna be an awesome place to dig out. Let me show you why. First off, the artifact layer goes way down. I'm finding some charcoal and lots of uh, bits and pieces of melted glass, but also some pretty interesting things. Now here's a bottle that I think is gonna date to you know the early 1900s. So this house was around in the early 1900s. But look at this. This is a really neat piece of uh, copper. I suspect this was from uh, like some type of cupboard and this was decorations uh, to keep the rats out like a pie safe or something like that. Lots of pottery, but look at this thing here. I think this is gonna be kind of cool. Now, I don't know what it is. I suspect it's gonna be like a little medallion of some sort. Let's wipe it off on a pee and see what we got. There we go. Now, I'm just eyeballing in here. There's so much rotted iron that there's no way we're gonna know, be able to hear anything. I don't see any designs on that just yet, but I wouldn't doubt that this is gonna be uh, some type of uh, some type of little like religious medallion or something like that it looks pretty old too i think it's older than 1900 i'm gonna dig around just a little bit more but we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this hole today this is just so we know to come back and maybe explore it just a little bit more i haven't actually dug any more yet i just wanted to show you um couple things some melted glass but anyway the re religious medallion that i found is not that i started cleaning off a little bit and i can read it a tiny bit on this side i think it says if law if found return or something like that so hopefully it's going to have the owner's name right across the bottom we'll get that cleaned up uh, and i'll show you to you at the end of the video so naturally i had to dig on just a little bit more <laughs> and uh yeah a lot more stuff i mean just all kinds of this pottery and uh ceramics and i did find a couple horseshoes i just wanted to show you and this one weird little thing here i think it might be carbon yeah it's carbon so it could be the cord of a battery or something other weird thing that's piece of that piece that pie safe uh, but yeah i got some horseshoes and uh, just lots of junk a lot of some melted glass too i think we're going to dig in there for sure but just not today let's get back out in the woods and uh, just scope that out some more. We'll come back here later. Huh. Um, real I think it's a spoon bowl. Pewter spoon bowl. Pewter. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, if it was a button, I think we would see some of the curved edge. Yeah. And being that size, there would be some curved edge on it. I think you're going to find that it's a pewter spoon bowl that has little stars going across oh, it. Yeah. An eagle, maybe. I don't know. That could be. <laughs> is that anything, or am I just seeing stuff? Yeah, it looks like it looks like a roll of stars. So that might actually be something really cool. So That's don't old. don't lose it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. say it could easily date to this into the 1700s. And there is some decoration. It looks almost like it might be an eagle on it with stars above it. You might be able to identify that piece. It's not a tomback. It's a lot better than a tomback. Trust oh, me. Oh wow. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it could be really awesome. That's awesome. Where's the rest of it? I'm gonna go find it. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> have a nice signal here. It's actually kind of a screamer. I already dug it out. Not very big, but boy, it sounds sweet, doesn't it? That's not gonna be a mason jar lid. All right? Oh no. <laughs> Giant piece of copper wire. Oh. oh well. Good little signal here. I didn't get the camera out because I've been digging so much junk. But I dug this. Do you know what it is? The half of you guys will know what it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is a thimble for sewing. For sewing, you put your little finger in there, and that way when you're sewing, uh, you know, the needle hits this and doesn't go into your flesh and bone. Normally, they'll have a dome on it, but this is a different kind. It's actually really sturdy, much heavier than a normal one. 
But I know it's a thimble because of that design on it right there. All the thimbles of, well, pretty much forever, I think, had that design. That's to keep the needle from hitting it and skipping off. It hits that and kind of sticks in those little holes. That's a pretty good find right there. It looks a lot like the other thing I found, doesn't it? In the very beginning of the video, except it was smooth and much lighter weight. He was just telling me he did find one coin. Uh, it was 1790 something and he washed it off with the water and took the bait off. Anyway, I got a good signal here and I see it. I think it's a pretty cool item. What do you think? Is it cool? Yeah, I think it's cool. That's a really old like door pull. Nice heavy brass. I suspect that's gonna we're gonna find coins. I think we're gonna start finding coins really soon. And you know what? I'm gonna hypothesize this right now. And it might be made a full of butt. The foundation behind us. I think that's a second house. I think there's another one right in this area where he's been finding all this old stuff, the tomback buttons and the pewter spoons, because this stuff is all much older than what I'm finding up there. We're gonna start finding coins in here. Finding that, I guarantee it. You don't find these without finding nice coppers. Now this is a very sweet signal. I kicked the dirt back, or the leaves back. Boy, that sounds like a coin, doesn't it? Don't see it yet. A little hint of copper. Run the detector over it. All right. Unfortunately, it is in the upper layer, but doesn't mean it's not something good yet. It could still be a, an old coin or something decent. It's a good metal, good strong metal. Not big enough for large center. I don't, oh, it's still in my hand. Oh, what is it? Oh no. <laughs> uh, we'll clean that up, and I'll promise a good close-up at the end. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That's a beauty right there. Full of water. That's a death trap. Wow. Yeah, we need to get that covered before we're like, uh, yeah. before we're done with this place. Well, Duck. Chig said that there would be a well around here somewhere. And uh, well, we found it. And that is, good gosh, there's water in there. Probably full of gold coins and cutlasses. Oh, man. oh that's awesome, isn't it? Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. But the, I hate to see these open like that because you know, deer, raccoons, and stuff they can fall in there and they drown. So we'll need to make sure we find something to put over that, and if, if not today. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. That that's old. That's old. I'm, I'm still thinking that old house, the original, was right up in there, where you're finding all that stuff. Because yep. there's so much iron right in that area too. But that's a beautiful well. <laughs> it is cool. We'll come back with camera. Don't you worry about that. Let's have a nice little squeaker here. I already dug it up, but just looking at some of this. Uh, is that some type of pottery? I thought it might be brick, but I'm not sure. It was just above the well, a little bit, and uh, got something in here. Just kind of shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Must be really small. Ah, just do it. <laughs> It's a coin, a little, uh, probably a wheat penny, if I had to guess. Well, it definitely got old Abe on it, and it just looks like it's the patina of a wheat penny, not a modern penny, so, yeah. Another weedy, that's two. If I had a camera malfunction, so I didn't get to see this, but this is a big old piece of brassy stuff, or coppery stuff. Not sure what it is, but boy, I tell you, it screamed at me. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure it's worth keeping, but we'll keep it. The sun's kind of setting, so we don't have much longer. Uh, got a good squeak in here, and I started digging, and it's just loaded with broken uh, ceramics. And I'm thinking there could be something good in here. I can't actually find the target yet that I was after. Um, I know it's in here, but... <laughs> you know, I was finding, uh, I found the base to this, too, and I was thinking maybe it's a pot full of coins. But I don't think so, because the signal's... Uh, not all over the place. Like, in, oh, there's the bottom part of the bottom I found. Um, I had the discrimination up pretty good, so you're hearing a lot of clicks from nails. And somewhere in here, there's a good signal. It probably fell back down in the hole. But since we don't have a whole lot of time, what I'm going to do? Yeah, it's not that old, is it? Is I'm going to go ahead and dig this out real quick, and we'll look. And I think we'll be scooting right after that. All right, give me a couple minutes. Just a mason jar lid. Now, uh, there's a lot of iron and broken glass in there. So I'd really love to dig this out, but we don't have time today. Besides, if it's a mason jar lid, there's um, 
it's not quite old enough for me. <laughs> it's a round nail right there too, so it's kind of dating it for us, isn't it? Oh, that's nice, yeah. yeah Let's see, uh, a milkman's carrying strap for a case. No, nope. it is a skirt from the saddle, of course. Yeah. Put your foot here. That's a nice one too. Like, uh, sorry, I just grabbed it from you, but uh, yeah. yeah, that's a nice hand forged one. Yeah, uh, I don't know if it's Civil War era or something earlier. Oh, it could very easily be earlier. It's old. Yeah, oh yeah, no doubt. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Now, what you need to do is find a big brass one with CS in the bottom of it right there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah. nice. Congratulations. Thank you. It's got the plier on it. I think it's from the 1880s. I think that's a uh, high, high 12 base. 12 gauge. It's uh, It's got a tie. Yeah. I think. Yeah, if, you, if you can read it, you can figure the date out real easy. Yeah, I got to clean that off. Yeah. And then I found. Oh, what's that? Well, it's not what I thought it was, actually, so um, I think it's a tooth of a, oh, not maybe. sure, yeah, yeah, goat, maybe, <laughs> no, I, when I, when you first said bear claw, I was, uh, I thought it was a, a pig tusk, because people find pig tusk all the time, and I did too when I first found them, and I used to think, oh, it looks like a bear claw, but that's not a pig tusk. Do you have any uh, idea what that might be? Well, I think it's a tooth by the wear on it. And, um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know my teeth, but I'd say maybe... I'm thinking goat for some reason, but I really don't know. You'd have to look up goat teeth. Yeah, very yeah, interesting. I'd like to know, though. Yeah. You want to let me keep it? You're not grabbing it. <laughs> look, take it away. The sun's right behind you there. <laughs> oh, you couldn't see me. I thought it was like it's haunted. Take it away. I'm not sure what kind. I think it's a tooth, but I don't know for sure. Well, that's it. We're finished for the day, I guess, because he's going to make me go home. He said, sure, you got a long drive. <laughs> and I do. It is getting cold anyway. It's almost yeah. dark. Go over a few things that we found here. You can see we did find a lot of junk. Mason jar lids. We got some interesting, you saw that in the video, some type of tooly thing. This, I don't think I, I showed in the video. Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome, whatever that is. Yeah. I mean, it's really heavy. It looks almost like a wrench. I'm not sure. It could be, I don't know. I mean, somebody who's watching this video will, will yeah. know, and hopefully they'll tell us, but I, I don't know. But it's really, really both, heavy. Both ends are the same, the, the cut hole is about the yeah. same size, so it's... I can't tell if that's, it might be broken off on both sides. It might be some type of weird... Let me think about that one. Um, yeah, so we got some shoe, some shoes. I think that's a mule shoe. Um, that's what I'm going with because uh -huh. um, not all mules are like gigantic, you know. And uh, he's got half of uh, that. And this is another piece of the lock over here. Some harmonica reeds. A lovely little buckle here. Absolutely gorgeous. It's very, you know, thin. I think it's going to be an older one. Some buttons here. And you found this, didn't you? And that's pretty cool right there. <laughs> you don't have to look proper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a, um, uh, I'm going to call it a knife handle, like a silverware handle. You, you know, it would have been either hollow inside. It might have been mm -hmm. something inside, but uh, yeah. This is probably the most interesting piece, I think, because it says, if lost, return to, and I haven't cleaned that up yet. So we'll get a name of whoever that was. Of course, you saw this as a little thimble. This uh, was, didn't tell you what I thought it was. What do you think, Eddie? Do you have any yeah. idea? I tell you what I think it is. I think this is the hardened, hardened tip to a shovel. Hardened. Where they make it harden, and then the rest of the shovel will be softer metal because it's easier to make. But the hardened tip, they would just weld that on in the old days. And I'm talking about welding with a forge. I think that's what that's going to be, and not 100%. And a couple other little things. I found a little piece of silver. <laughs> which is probably wow. something related to that. And of course, saw the crotal bells, a little bit of pottery, a lot of junk, uh, but not that much junk. It wasn't crazy. Hey man, it was awesome, dude. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you, Chig. Thank you very much. Can we be friends for yeah. a long, long time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate you hanging out. Oh, I forgot my little stencil and uh, I'll get that cleaned up and show it to you too. Pictures to follow in about three, three, two, one. Here they come. You'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep. 
hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is.